What's up guys, Custom Mods back. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Omier Wasp Nano RDA. I have to say this thing is amazing. It has the most amazing flavor, the most spectacular flavor that I've ever come across. It's definitely ranked number three right next to the Jenna and the Moe's 25, which are my top RDAs of all time. So with that, it is a short profile RDA. It's very, very short. It's 22 millimeters in diameter, single coil. I highly recommend that you guys pick one of these up. It's only $14.95 on Element Vape. At the time that I purchased this, it was $19.99 when I purchased it. It's a cheap, affordable RDA that you will not regret buying. It blows most of the RDAs out of the water. So anyway, let's take it up close. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of it, share my thoughts on this, and we'll throw a build in it, come back up, and talk about it. Okay, so here is the Omier Wasp Nano RDA. It looks as if it is an Ultim top cap, but it is not. It would cost much more money, trust me, if it was made of Ultim. I got the brass version, or the gold plated version, and this is a PMMA, or just like plastic colored top cap. It is not Ultim. Let's go ahead and pop the top cap off. The top cap is secured by two O-rings, and you can kind of get a good look at the deck. So everything is gold plated on this. It has two flat head screws that secure your posts and it has a nice little ledge right there so that you are able to put your coil in and that ledge will help keep it from falling out when you put your wire in. And then we have two pretty big airflow holes right there two good size airflow holes that go directly to the coil when you place and center your coil it goes directly to your coil i like to raise my coil up a little bit it gives it a little bit more airflow and kind of keeps it cool you could put a pretty big chunky coil in there anyway this is uh a very cheap device so don't expect any crazy finishings or you know crazy machinings everything is gold plated so you can't really see any imperfections anyway it says that this is the brass version but i doubt that this is brass i bet this is just regular metal with or stainless steel with low grade stainless steel with gold plating or bronze plating on it so there is the squonk 510 pin this will be in the bag when you get it it, is, it comes in a little package um just a tiny little box that i don't have right now with a little flathead screwdriver and it comes with a squonk 510 pin and then the studded 510 pin is already installed and then it comes with two spare post screws in the bag as well this is basically how it comes in the package just this right here and then your goodies and that's it and there is the screw for the that holds down the negative terminal and the 510 screw holds down the positive terminal that is insulated by the peak insulator right there i'm not sure if that is 100 percent peak it looks it looks to me like it is it really does so the bottom wasp nano there is no serial number it is a very mass-produced product and it is still sold in stores because that is how effective this has been this design it's a pretty simple design let me give you some measurements on the airflow holes let's see okay so they're about six millimeters wide Six millimeters wide by two millimeters tall. Yeah, they're pretty big airflow holes. I haven't had any issues with this getting really, really hot because it is a very, very low profile RDA and let's just see how low it is. Okay, so this thing from top to bottom is about 22 millimeters and it is 22 millimeters wide as well. Also, something interesting about this is that this little built-in drip tip, you can actually put your 510s inside of here if they have O-rings on them. Depending on how fat your drip tip is will depend on how silly it looks on this. And I actually do have, I'll show you guys a little drip tip that I have. So I got this from the Chinese manufacturer, I think it was like 3F Vape or 3C Vape or something like that that I went on to when I got this. Anyway, you can go ahead and this is a 510, the most dainty 510 I could find. You could put that in there and then it looks kind of ridiculous. There's no need for it as the top cap does not really get hot from my own experience. It is a very snug fit. So I got that out. If you are planning on getting this and you want to put your own 510 in there and see if it will be flush, Okay, so if you want it to be flush with the sides, get a drip tip that the outer diameter is around 12 millimeters and it should sit nice and flush on top of there and extend it a little bit so that you got more of a mouthpiece depending on how big your lips are. That's it. I mean, it's a very simple RDA, just a single coil. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and pop a build in it and then juice her up and take her back up top.
All right, so we are back up top with the Omir Wasp Nano RDA. Let's take it for a vape. Mm. My God, the flavor off of this is insane. And I got her sitting on top of the top side. And yeah, I jimmy rigged it up with a rubber band because the battery door got stripped where the little locking mechanism comes into contact with each other so it would just fling open anyway this is my little cheap fix for it so pros on this pros uh the flavor the flavor is amazing i have to say i like the little ledges that they put in so that the wire doesn't slip out when you put your coils into it and you mount the coils it makes it so much easier than if those two uh, post holes were left open without that little edge to catch it and hold it into place another thing I like about this is the aesthetics I really really like the way that this looks I like that it's low profile which also contributes to the amount of flavor the vast amount of flavor I get and also it's very easy to build on it's very simple I also like that you can put your own 510 drip tip on the top if you really want to I don't see a need for that, but if you really wanted to, they thought of that as well, that if it's a little too hot for your lips, which it's not, which is another pro, you can put a 510 drip tip in there to ex uh, extend it out a little bit so that your lips aren't going directly by the coil. I love the way that this squonks. Also, I've noticed that when you squonk it, it takes quite a bit of squonking for it to actually overflow and leak out the holes. I don't know how they did it the way that the deck is designed. I feel contributes to that. There's a little bit of space under, there's a little bit of space underneath. So these two big posts right here, these two big posts have a little, it, it has a big well on the on the on the underside which fills up with the liquid before it actually goes out the side holes so i've been able to squonk this with no issues i love the price point the price point of this is another pro some of the cons for this i would say the flathead screws for the posts i really really dislike flathead screws i hate them they if you noticed in my build section uh, the screwdriver kept slipping out of my hand and it kept stabbing me that's probably the only con of this honestly the flavor that i get off of this is it it removes any anything any bad thing that i might think about this the flavor trumps it all it's a nice compact rda and it's easy to build on overall i say a dude. I, I gotta give this like five stars right up there with the Jenna and the most 25. Just the flavor I get off of it is amazing. It's like I'm drinking the juice. With that said, I'll leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Custom Mods out.